Yo, dog, I heard you needed pimping, so I'm here to set things straight and pimp your base. Ladies and gentlemen, rappers, 8 Milers, and the 313, welcome to another Timo Redbeard video. And while X is not going to give it to you today, I've got a fantastic new video. We are starting our new YouTube series that I've been talking about called Pimp Your Bass. If you have a bass that you'd love to get pimped, join the Discord below. There's a submissions channel where you can post some screenshots of your bass. And if we think it needs pimping, it's going to get pimped. Anyway, today we've got a fantastic bass. It was in drabs and dregs. Really, uh, really needed some work. So, uh, yeah, this is the first part of a two-part video for this bass. Yes, it needed that much work. You, uh, you saw the changes that we made right at the very beginning. Uh, so, I'm going to show you... What we did now the most of this was actually done on stream so a lot of this footage will be stream footage and if you want to watch the entire build process then go check out my twitch in the link below jump into the vods and you'll get access to it all. competition though this is a competition if you've got an awesome build or if you want to do an awesome build then go check it out find out the criteria get your entries in they close march 28th let's jump into this so part one of this video is going to be focusing on the bridge and the sort of uh, main entrance for the base. And part two is going to be focusing on the actual base itself, sprucing it up, giving it a bit of love, making it look beautiful, that sort of thing. When I, <laughs> when I saw the uh, defensive fort around the other side of the bridge, to the base, I um, I may have cringed a bit, and well, let's just say I realised then and there that something drastic needed to be done. Now, admittedly, I may have gone too drastic, but that's just what I do. So the first thing to do in order to <laughs> bring any sort of goodness to this area was to tear it all down. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I tore it all down. Now, before we get any further into this, I just want to chuck out a disclaimer here. I am using debug mode. I do have structure costs off. But there are some rules and regulations to this. I'm not giving them any expensive resources. I'm not giving them any uh like iron or or metals or anything like that that they don't already have an absolute plentitude of i'm not giving them dragon's tears or boss items or anything like that the 99 percent of what i'm doing is purely structural it is walls and beams and stuff make it made out of wood and stone etc etc and iron in the beams and the poles but unfortunately that is unavoidable I won't be giving them any new crafting stations. I will be tearing down and moving the ones that they already have. I won't be giving them anything new. So with the area cleared of the crap <laughs> and flattened out uh, into a, a bit of a larger area, it's time to start laying down the foundations and the plan for what I was going to do with their gatehouse. And you uh, will see that I end up doing a twin circle combined by a rectangular chamber. And if you want to know exactly how I build these circles, then check out the video at the top of the screen now. But otherwise, I lay down those foundations to create a nice sort of twin round tower base for the gatehouse. One of the things that I really wanted to achieve with this build was a really nice blend between stone and wood, not going too much one way, not going too much the other. I wanted the building to appear fortified, 
but I didn't want it to appear like a completely medieval castle or, or even further on from medieval castle. I still wanted it to have quite a, a, a an earlier age feel. Uh, so I only went four meters up with the stone before setting the battlements and building the second sort of section to each tower. And that was the wooden section. With this gatehouse turning out to be such a large build, I didn't want the space to be purely decorative and unusable uh, because it's a, a waste of resources to an extent and I, I know I'm not actually using resources, but you know what I mean. Um, and it's a waste of space, um, in a way. Decoration, decoration isn't necessarily always a waste, but regardless, I decided that the bottom floor, the inner stone part of the gatehouse, the two towers, uh, were going to be the new portal hubs so I laid out all the portals so they look nice and uh, pretty and then started working on the upper part of the towers so I drew out the foundations for a smaller circle on the second floor um, that I was going to make out of wood and that worked out pretty well I chucked the walls up added iron beams uh, so that there would be enough support going up towards the roof um, as this build is getting very, very tall at this point. And then I started making the outer circumference for the overhang. Of course, um, I didn't want the, the, it to just keep getting progressively smaller and smaller the whole way up. I wanted there to be a, a smaller, um, trying to think of a better word than shaft here, but, uh, not coming up with one. So a smaller shaft, uh, that then came back out again. The next stage of this build uh, was definitely probably one of my favorites and that was the support structures underneath these, the overhang and what I ended up doing was initially I just put the beams in to support I uh, used 45 degree beams coming down from the edge of the overhang and I thought yeah okay it works and then I had this idea to put these 26 degree offset beams in like a lattice network down all these support beams and I am so happy with how it turned out I'm really really proud of it I really like it Next up, I used one of my favorite tricks also, which is to use iron gates and then sort of placing wooden walls uh, around them to make them seem like they're iron bar, like window style things. Uh, so that's exactly what I did. Um, I put iron gates the whole way around and then placed half walls uh, into the bottom side of them and then on top of them as well and boarded them with beams. And I think it ended up looking really really nice from a certain angle it might look a little bit like a bird cage but i don't think it necessarily does um enough for me to worry about it i guess then i, I put the roof on and the easiest way to do that is to take the four uh parallel points um so obviously the uh, north and south parallel and the east and west parallel and put the roofs up on those and then expand out either side of those one more and then start to curve the the, the roof around um in the corners uh and that's that's the easiest way i found to make a round roof look pretty decent then i duplicated the tower on the other side i hooked them up with a little walkway and it was time to start work on the bridge now with the bridge i wanted to make it so that boats could sail under it because they currently can't but obviously longboats are very tall and sit quite high up off the water which means that you have to make the bridge very very tall uh so what i did is i went to the middle of the channel the the water channel and i worked out where the boat would go i made sure that it was wide enough and then i built up tall enough at that point so that the boat could go under it and then i worked back from that height towards the gatehouse one of the things I really wanted to do is make the staircase leading from the gatehouse to the top part of this bridge not look too generic. I wanted it to be different, interesting. So I built the staircase to start with. And then I wanted to build like a... Almost like a bulbous section to the top of the staircase. So that when you're walking up the stairs you have this gorgeous structure all around you with decorations and the like and then you can look out and you have gorgeous views in all directions and it's just a it's an enjoyable place to 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 move across rather than a generic just like closed in wooden or stone staircase you know 
and that pretty much brings us to the wrap up of this uh again if you do want to watch the entire build uh in a very step-by-step -step fashion then please do go check out the twitch vod it's in the description below uh well my twitch is um i really really enjoyed this and <laughs> i think it's an improvement let me know in the comments below if you don't think it's an improvement but uh you know you know i think it's an improvement we will be back next week for more pimp your base on the same base but actually doing the base side of the bridge now um or of the the ship than uh this side uh, i'm really pleased with how this turned out if you do want to have your base pimped then make sure that you join the discord and you go to the applications channel you check some screenshots of your base in and if you get picked i will be in contact Ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing and caress that notification bell. I do stream on Twitch, funnily enough. From Tuesday to Friday, starting at 1pm GMT. I'd love to catch you there. If you want to support me further, there's a Patreon link in the description. Or even better, go pick up a Take Me to Valhalla crossed out Heim t-shirt at CorfMerch.com. All the proceeds go to me. Um, so it's a massive way to support me while you still get something physical in return really appreciate that make sure you join the discord obviously we got the competition going or if you want to submit your pimp your base or if you want to submit a friday's fantastic thoughts go join it but otherwise ladies and gentlemen peace out take care